So why am I on a bib? Well, it's time to wash this pit. Hello all and welcome to a Monday morning here on the farm where today we're going to be doing a bit of washing of the pit. Uh, as time as was done, but we're going to be cutting in a few days time so I've been putting it off for a while because there are other jobs to get done and uh, it was taking a bit of a back foot but it's time to pressure wash it out so it's not taking me an awful long time. I'm not going to really go too tight to the walls, we're just going to go over and give it a, a general good clean down. Um, I've also put the slurry tank in here as well. Yeah, I might as well wash it now when I'm when I'm at it. It's quite dirty, so um, once I have the power washer on and out in here, it's a good open spot. I'll wash it and then just clearing it all out and just check it over as well. So it'll be busy then when the sail is just cut. There's plenty of slurry to go out, so I'll be able to check it over and make sure everything's all right on it. So that's the pit all cleaned out. We're just going over here to actually give the cows a little bit of meal. I feed them twice a day now at the minute, but they'll be going on once a day, probably in uh, sometime in the next few weeks. Uh, the weather has not been good, and we've had a few showers. Nothing worth talking about, but it's, it has been cold at night. But thankfully enough, in this little area here, we have never put them in here before. But I'm really happy that they've had plenty of shelter, and that's the reason I picked this little corner. No animals have been on it before um, this year, so the chance of them picking up any worms and things is pretty pretty slim as well. They'll be getting a worm dose now, probably in the next uh, week or so, and then we normally wor worm them every every six weeks um, in around that. So when we move them then into fresh grass, another batch then of five at home that we'll be throwing out this week. Be nice to get them all out. Oh, great to get them all out. Um, I'm fed up feeding calves inside the house and things, you know. Winter's been a long, it just seems this year has been a real long haul. I don't know why, it's just, maybe it's just the way I'm thinking or whatever, but it just seems to be that it's been a, it's been a long old haul, so it has. So I have to open this fence here now, just open the top to get in. There's a nice old ticket this wire, so you don't want to be catching yourself on this one, that's for sure. Their eyebrows will be long getting burnt off. Makes it even easier, crossing it with one hand, balancing the bucket and holding the camera. But we'll get it done, we'll get it done. Now, so I'm gonna throw the mail now to them in the trash and they'll hopefully gobble it all into them fairly quick. So that's what I like to see. They're all at the trash, they're all eating, they're all nice and healthy, nice shine of them. Um, yeah, the dung's good as well. That tells you a lot about how they're doing. Uh, I had to move them here the other day Give them another little section there as well because they had all this et, they had a skin pretty bare and just give them a small bit. You don't want to give calves, young calves after going out like that, too much grass. What you want them to do is you want them to eat plenty of meal. Um, meal is more important. Yes, they need grass in their diet, but not as much as they need meal. Um, but yeah, uh, they're doing very well. We're very happy with them. So as you may have well noticed in the background that 
Silage is cut. We mowed it out last Wednesday evening. Today is Sunday, so you're right up to date now. Um, we mowed it out last Wednesday evening. I was actually away Wednesday morning picking up a new machine, well, new to us, machine I bought in Clark's. Keep an eye out for that. Those of you on Instagram are gonna know exactly the machine that I got because I posted up pictures of it. Uh, if you do, don't maybe don't comment on this video about it. We'll keep some of our um, people that are on YouTube um, kind of in suspense for a little while longer, not much, don't worry. Uh, we were making a video just solely on it. And um, we're gonna put, we'll say it's a good machine. It's one that a lot of farmers probably down the line would love to have and probably will get as time goes on. Um, but we're going to be doing a reform on that and uh, get it all cleaned up. Very little to do on it. It's just more cosmetic things and that's really all that it has to be done on it. But it's something to watch. It's a bit of a series we're going to make on it. But you can see there our grass seed is doing well now. And uh, it's coming up now nicely. Around the far side is coming up even better. Just all we need now is some heat. Which today is nice and mild. Yesterday and Saturday and Friday night were ferociously windy here. I don't know what it was like with you. But we had really bizarre wind. The weather is just every season rolled into the one. But we've had a hell of a long dry period and we're supposed to get a middling good week this week. So we're not too worried. But we got the silage mowed out on Wednesday and then we lifted it on, I think they came here at about 12 o'clock on Friday. We didn't really get any rain. We got a bit of rain that night. Um, and then we got it all in nice and dry. Friday finished at about 3, 4 o'clock and we covered it then because we knew the wind was starting to pick up and no one likes to cover a pit when you're in, especially in a storm. So um, we got it covered at about nine o'clock, took us about an hour and a half. Loads of nephews, my own children and my brother and we just took into it and we got it all done fairly easy, fairly quickly. Uh, but there'll be a whole video on all that. Didn't video the pit being covered but I got a great video of the silage being done. I had the drone out and got loads and loads of pictures and footage so I'll uh, look forward to sharing that. I'm just going to take a little bit of time to put that video together because I think I could have two hours, two and a half hours worth of footage that I'm going to have to sift through. So I might make a longer video on it being done, maybe 40 minutes or so. Um, I've never really went to that length of videos before because I've, I always felt that maybe it dragged on a little bit too long, but maybe not with this one particular one. We'll make it a bit longer. Um, it was earlier than we'd normally cut. We wouldn't normally cut to the last couple of days in May, sometimes first couple of days in June, but the year we just said we got caught last year by leaving it. And the weather was good up until about the 22nd, I think of May or something like that. And then it just poured and it never quit. So we didn't get our silage cut till about the, nearly the 10th of June last year. And with that, we had to cut it on a wet and take it in wet. Um, it's just, we got about five hours where it wasn't pouring and we took it in. Um, so I said to myself, I'm not gonna get caught like that again when the weather's so good. I'm just gonna go ahead. He rang me and said, well, are you ready to mow? We have a lot of other people who will be jumping in now in front of you if you don't. And I said, you know what, go ahead, mow it out, get it done, get it in the pit. And I'm glad I did, um, glad I did now. But I know the weather's probably gonna be all right. We hope the weather's not gonna really break. For those of you who are following us, I'm sorry if it's windy here this morning because it seems to be windy now every day. But those of you that are following us on Instagram um, will already know that I put up a post there a few days ago, um, around the same day, actually the same day our site has been cut, that we have now hit 10,000 subscribers. 10,000 subscribers. Gas. Brilliant. There's no word to tell you how thrilled I am. Uh, thank you each and every one of you for that. Um, the channel is still very young. Uh, we only started in September. So like, it's amazing. I don't know many videos we have up now. I don't think we have 50 up yet. I didn't even count. I'm just putting them up and I'm just letting them do the thing. Um, but people are seeming to be liking it. Um, it's just awesome. We're just really, really happy. Uh, that day in particular, when we are getting our, got all our silage in, got it all covered, 10,000 subscribers, everything. We had a, a cow cab with a lovely Belgian blue bull. Can I ask for better than that? It was one of those really, really good days and you helped out with all that. So thank you very much, each and every one of you. Um, I don't know what we're gonna do for our 10,000 subs. Uh, I'm kind of out the fence in that. A lot of people ask for a farm tour, even from day one. Um, you're kind of getting a tour, 
uh, like I'm in this for the long haul, don't get me wrong, I'm in this for the long haul and um, I'm going to be showing you each and every machine that I own. So rather than just looking at machines sitting on the ground uh, doing nothing, I'll show you each and every machine working. I think you'll appreciate that better. Um, but a day in the life, yes, I very much would like to get that done, a day in the life. But there's a little bit more work in that. I could make it really fast, I could make it really fast and throw it up. But what I would have in my head to get done would be um, take a little bit more time because I want to just really get get it right that you really enjoy it. I know how, I know how it should be done. I have my own ideas and um, I'm just leave that one with me but that one will be done. Uh, another thing that I haven't done yet is um, I was going to do a video on the list of different machines and things that I like and use on the farm and a kind of a history of the farm. Again, I have loads of photos, loads of machinery that we used. Um, my father would help me out with loads of knowledge on that as well. So uh, yeah, that's another video definitely will be done um, very, very, very soon. Uh, we've already started getting a few bits and pieces of pictures and things together and bits of old videos and just showing you how the farm has progressed over the last 30 to 50 years. So, so I think what I'll actually do is I'll do a live feed. Um, I think I can do more of a personal one-to-one -one with each and every one of you. I've never done a live feed before ever and I have no idea how it's done but um, it can't be that complicated I'll get it done and um, so that's what I probably will do we have a couple of videos that has to be put up first and obviously the first one is silage and uh, we're gonna get a good long video done on it and probably do something on, on slurry wise as well I know you can get bored watching slurry videos and slurry videos but it is part of the job that he's done so I'll try to make it a little bit more interesting that's my shenanigans for the day and um, I hope you enjoyed our videos um, I'm going to get cracking back here and get some breakfast because I think it's gone just about a quarter to eight now. So um, until the next one folks, thanks for watching and we'll catch you very shortly.